Robert in Plantation, Florida. Boy, that sounds like a, <laughs> a planty place, right? He writes and he says, Paul, in a recent podcast, you mentioned mini DSPs as a way to adjust room response or simply tailoring your system to your taste. If most of a person's music is coming from digital, such as a CD player, DAC, or computer, or some other digital source as mine is, why isn't there software built into these devices to make those adjustments? It shouldn't be that difficult, and it is the perfect place to do it. I have an analog source, but I rarely use it because I think uh, of the lack of its convenience. Thanks, Paul. Well, you're absolutely right, Robert. That is the perfect place to put it, and if we had an all-digital world, I think you'd see a lot more of it. And no, it's not that difficult to do. It's called DSPs, Digital Signal Processing. We can buy those off the shelf and just add controls that could be as simple as a graphic equalizer, could be just bass and treble controls, could be as complex as room correction. I mean, there's any number of things you could do. As a manufacturer, there's a couple of problems, and you, Robert, are one of them. Yeah, I'll tell you why. You still have an analog source. As a manufacturer, what am I supposed to do with that? So the problem is we haven't gone fully digital. So we're stuck in not wanting to compromise our values, especially our sonic values. So if we were to say, in an all-digital world, here's an all-digital product, go for it. And I have a convenience input that you can plug your analog source into. But I got to tell you, when you do that, I'm going to convert it to digital. And no, it will no longer be analog. We have just been unwilling to do that in our higher-end products. Now, Sprout, our little $600, $700, whatever it is, uh, a beautiful little integrated. It does that. So it's completely digital and any like the phono stage, all that, all of it gets high end A to D, goes into digital and we handle everything beautifully in there. And it sounds great. It's one of the better sounding integrateds out there. And for the money, I don't think you can beat Sprout, period. But that's a $700 product. And it's not, you know, not one of these. It's not our higher end product. So we're just kind of unwilling to compromise like that. But someday, uh, perhaps we can build something where it is purely digital. And then I think it's probably a great idea. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> okay, <laughs> take it easy. See you tomorrow.